According to meteorologists, Tropical Storm Idalia descended on the Carolinas on its way out to the Atlantic Ocean on Thursday. However, it left a trail of flooding and destruction throughout the southeast that stretched back to its landfall as a hurricane in Florida. It was further mentioned that Idalia made landfall near Keaton Beach close to 7.45 a.m. as a Category 3 hurricane with maximum sustained winds near to 125 miles per hour or 205 kilometers per hour. The hurricane crossed into Georgia with winds of 90 miles per hour or 150 kilometers per hour. It weakened to a tropical storm by late Wednesday afternoon and its winds had dropped to 60 miles per hour by Wednesday night. It caused devastation along a wide stretch of the Gulf Coast on August 30th in Florida. As the eye moved inland with high winds that caused damage to signs, blow off roofs, sent sheet metal flying and snapped tall trees into half. One individual was killed in Georgia. However, there have been no confirmed deaths in Florida. The storm also brought winds to Savannah in Georgia as it made its way towards the Carolinas. Meteorologists forecast the storm to move near or along the coast of South Carolina through Wednesday night and then just off the coast of North Carolina on Thursday before heading out into the Atlantic Ocean. It has also resulted in a tornado that touched down in South Carolina.